Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, I guess it's going to be a quick video of this one. Now, I recently purchased myself from eBay a vegetable onion chopper. I don't know if you remember years ago to be a company called Ronco, always advertising the original as a chopper matic. Uh, they done various things, Ronco, always advertising on television back in the day when we had about, about three channels in the UK. Anyway, so let's open the box. This was about £3.75 from eBay. So let's just see what it's made of. Oh, a little plastic thing in there. No instructions, only a bit on the back there. So we've got a little base plate, a little plastic thing, the blades there. I don't know if it's any good. A little blade cover, I assume. That goes on top there. Click that on there. Well, that's not very good. That doesn't click in straight away. It's a bit, uh, seems to go away, man. And I suppose you put that on top of there, and then you put your vegetables in the bottom to give it a chop. So I'm going to, first of all, see how it does with a mushroom. So let's see whether this is uh, any good or whether it's uh, worth it. I only got it just do quick bits of vegetables. Uh, let's have a give it a shot. Right, that's 10 pumps. And look at that. Straight away, it's stuck in. That's a bit of a no-no straight away. So that's a bit of a fail, I think, that one. So we have to try and get that out. So, mushrooms one, chopomatic nil. Bit crap, really, or a bit, oops, shouldn't say that word, a bit useless. Right, so let's put that to one side. I didn't do any good with mushrooms. Right. Let's see if it chops a tomato up or a tomato. Put that in there. No, it doesn't fit, so we're going to have to cut that in half. So one tomato cut in half on the base plate. Let's see how it does with that. Ten pumps on the old top there. Well, it just seemed to slice it. And again, stuck in the bottom there, so... And that's half a tomato, so I don't know about you, but not very good. Let's give it another 10 shots. Right, that's 10 pumps on it. Slightly better, not 100% though, so look. So that's a bit of a flop. Right, let's get that out. Now let's try... Three cloves of garlic. Now I need garlic from the dish later on, so let's see how it does it with garlic. So, garlic, ah, oh, now that's much better. A little bit in there, but that's looking much better than garlic. So, another 10, that's 20 pumps on there. Yep, it's chopped up, not much, but again, still a lot of stuck in there. Out. I'm not doing very good at the moment. So, it seems to be getting it everywhere as well. Let's try a bit of red pepper. Again, that's not even going to fit in there. That fits. Let's try it with a red pepper. Ten pumps. More sliced than chopped. And there's a lot stuck in there. Another 10. Well, yeah, the pepper's chopped up a bit better, so that's not so bad. But there's still a little bit left in there. Right, next thing, let's try an onion. Well, I know a whole onion's not going to go, so let's try... Tell you what, let's not give it too rough on it. Let's put a quarter of an onion there, look. Put that on there. Try 10 pumps on first. It's not even coming up. Looks like I've got to pull the plunger up, actually. So, there we go, that's 10. Not so bad there. So let's give it another 10. Put the front to the top on there. That's coming up a bit better. It's about 11 pumps. Well, yeah, I think the onions come out okay. 
still a bit stuck in there, but the other one's come out much better. So there we go. Still stuck in there. Well, it does make it a bit easier to clean coming apart like that, but and as you see, there's a lot of bit of garlic and a bit of everything just stuck in them blades there. So there you go. Let me have your opinions. A chopomatic for under six quid. Was it worth it? I'd give it a six out of ten. He eventually did the bed pepper fine. He eventually did the um, young in fine. I think what you find, you might have to pull the pump up for the first few bits, but once it does it, yeah. I mean, look, there's the onion, not too bad. Red pepper, yeah, I'm happy with that. The garlic could do a bit of finer chopping, but there you go. So if you had the original Ronco, if you still got it, let me know, because they're quite old now. I think it was back in the 50s and 60s that originally came out. Leave your comments in the description down below. Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think it's a help? Do you think it's a waste of money? Anyway, that's it for this one. I'll catch you on my next cooking one.